Aggregator version 5 introduces a more powerful and streamlined experience for managing imported content. In this video, we'll walk you through how to upgrade from version 4 to version 5, whether you're using a premium plan, legacy add-ons, or the free version. The first step for all users is to update the free WP RSS aggregator plugin on your site. If automatic updates are enabled, this may already be complete. Otherwise, go to the plugins page in your WordPress dashboard and click Update Now. This ensures your site is ready for version 5. If you previously purchased individual premium add-ons or a legacy bundle and you're not on a plan, you'll need to purchase one before migrating. Legacy licenses will no longer receive updates or support after December 31st, 2025. Not sure if you're on a legacy setup? Visit your licenses page in your aggregator account. If you don't see a plan name like Basic, Plus, Pro or Elite, you're likely using a legacy license and will need to upgrade. Go to the pricing page on our site, select a plan and complete your purchase. Once you do, you'll have access to the version 5 premium plugin download and your new license key. If you're on a paid plan, or you've just upgraded, your next step is to install the version 5 Premium plugin. This is not the same as the free plugin you updated earlier. It's a separate plugin available to plan users. To install your plugin, log into your aggregator account. Go to your downloads page. Download the version 5 plugin zip file associated with your plan. Then, in WordPress, Upload and activate the plugin. Before running the migration wizard, make sure the following is in place. Any premium add ons you used in version 4 must be installed and activated. Inactive add ons will not have their data migrated. If you're on a plan, have your license key ready. Back up your site before proceeding. If you've added custom code or filters, Consider testing the migration on a staging site first. If your site has more than 10,000 imported items, we strongly recommend using the WPCLI migration method instead of the built-in wizard. It's designed specifically for larger sites and helps prevent timeouts or performance issues during migration. You'll need basic developer access like SSH or Terminal, and we've outlined every step in our detailed migration help article. Now it's time to run the migration wizard. To begin the migration wizard, go to RSS Aggregator Settings and click on Switch to V5. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and click Switch to V5. The wizard will start automatically. If you're on a paid plan, you'll be prompted to enter your license key during the migration. You can find this in the Licenses section of your WP RSS aggregator account. Once entered and verified, your premium features will be activated. It's now finally time to start the migration process. Click on Start Migration to get started. The wizard will migrate your v4 settings, as well as your sources, any templates and all your imported items. Now it's time to wrap things up and complete your migration. In the final step, you'll have the option to deactivate your v4 add-ons. Be sure to click Finish Migration to complete the process. This step is essential and shouldn't be skipped. This will take you to your hub where you'll find all your previous content. If you're unsure about your setup or encounter any issues, visit our Help Centre or contact our support team. We're here to ensure your migration to version 5 goes smoothly.